Well, if you're like me, you've been following the saga in Salem with the Hortons, the Bradys, and all their various offspring for decades. Days of Our Lives is a fan favorite soap opera that's been entertaining viewers for more than 50 years right here on NBC. And on Saturday, some of our favorite cast members will be in Denver to meet the fans and even sign autographs. But guess what? We're lucky. We have a chance to have two of the cast members with us today. Mary Beth Evans plays Kayla Brady Johnson, and Freddie Smith plays Sonny Kariakis. Nice to see both of you guys. Nice Thanks for having you. us. I'm a fan. Good, good. Yes, I love Days of Our Lives. It's like my dream to be a soap opera actress one day. Oh, my gosh. Really? Well, you know, I just talking to you on the break about your busy schedule, I think that you might have us beat. <laughs> oh, no. Uh -uh, no, never. <laughs> I've been watching for so long, and I'm such a big fan. So, Mary Beth, you've been mm -hmm. playing Kayla Brady at... Johnson since the 80s. Mm -hmm. I mean, for a long time I've been watching you. Mm -hmm. You do such a wonderful job. Talk about how your character is insanely popular with the fans. Why do you think you're so loved? Wow, what a way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what, I think, uh, I think I'm a relatable person, mm -hmm. and I think my character, I mean, as a character, I think she's very relatable, and she's a good person who tries to do the right thing, and um, I tried to not let her be too self-righteous, but um, I think she's always the ear for people, yeah. and she loves kids, and she loves her nieces and nephews. He's one of my nephews. Yes. And, um, and her enduring love with Steve Patch Johnson. I think people have followed that, and they love that, too. Patch. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, brings back so many memories mm -hmm. just saying mm -hmm. that name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, and, and you're right. Everyone can relate to you, I think. But soap operas have changed so much over the years. Mm -hmm. And you're a survivor, man, on Days of Our Lives. Talk about how working on the show has changed over the years in general. Well, when, we, when I first started in 1986, they, we would do one show a day, and we would do uh, we'd meet in the morning for the the, the dry block, then there'd be camera block, then dress rehearsal, then shoot the whole show. So the whole cast was there all day long. So you actually we were more uh, we saw each other more, which was nice. Yeah. But now um, we shoot. I don't even know what, 150 pages a day, wow. and we're done by 4 o'clock. Maybe it's 130 pages a day. Oh, my gosh. How do you remember all that stuff? That's craziness. It's, it is crazy. You can be in 10 items in a row. So when I say she's a survivor, let me just tell <laughs> yeah, you no, what really she's survivor, been no. through. <laughs> Kayla's been through a lot. You were deaf. You were kidnapped. Uh, y you're a doctor <laughs> restored your husband's sight. Um, I, I, I just don't think there's anything that's been thrown at you that you haven't, like, survived. Mm. Do these storylines surprise you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they do. But when people say, are you like the character, I say, well, nobody in my family, thank the Lord, has been kidnapped or lost an eye or <laughs> any of these things. So, uh, you know, it's very fun that way. It's yeah. fun to see what they're going to throw at you. You actually took a break from days in the late 90s, and then you returned. What made you want to come back to this character? What drew you back to days? Well, it's, it was always my favorite. I always mm -hmm. felt like it was home. I had done two other soaps. I did uh, General Hospital for seven years and yes. As the World Turns for six. And um, As the World Turns was in New York. And just the traveling really got to me. And I mean, I loved it, but um, I just wanted to be back in LA. And then there was the opportunity for Steven and myself to go back together in 2006 and so who could pass that up? We're so glad you're back. Thank I have to you. tell you, we're so glad you're back. Now I want to talk to you, Sunny, because you play a really interesting character. You're a part of the Kariakis family yes. and you're also her nephew, as said, but your character is openly gay. So I think that's interesting that um, Days of Our Lives took that approach when, sure. I mean, this is such an inclusive world or it should be, so I'm happy that it's included in Days of Our Lives. How did you approach that role? Well, it was a, uh, it was, it was, Perfect timing. It, it was, you know, 2011 is when they brought Sonny to Salem, and I thought it was a very important time because even back then, if you look back at movies, um, there weren't many uh, true love stories between two gay characters, and now it's become extremely common. So it's been really interesting to go from even starting on days going, is this going to work? Are mm -hmm. people going to respond mm -hmm. well? To now us becoming some of the most popular characters mm -hmm. on the show and the equal rights movement has gone Absolutely. in such a, an amazing direction. So it was just really cool to be a part of that. And I think our main goal was just always to be like any other couple on the show. And not only did we do that, but now we're in a love triangle like yes. every other couple And they both won Emmys, the too. They both won Emmys. Oh, up top! Yeah. And yeah. do you know what I caught myself doing? I called you Sonny. <laughs> Is that I respond okay? to both Isn't nowadays. That weird? It's been long enough. I'm Instead like, of your real name, I'm no. calling you like no, Sonny. No, because I think we're in it's people's so home crazy. every day. Yes. You think of us as those characters. And I think there's no bigger compliment. Oh, when, I, when people call me that, I'm always like, yes, hi. I felt kind of foolish as you were talking. No, I no, caught no, myself. No, 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 no. But you, you spoke about being in that 
love triangle and your character even faced gay bashing on the show. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Days of Our Lives is really showing what the world truly is about? Yeah, I mean, and, and that's it's it's not something that is in, enjoyable to watch if someone's being bullied. Yes. Um, but it's something that happens. And with Days of Our Lives, with a lot of uh, entertainment in the world, like we use this platform to share authentic stories and it's making an impact because maybe someone's sitting at home being like, ooh, I've actually done that. Mm -hmm. I need to stop treating people that way mm -hmm. or I know someone. So it's very important to tell true stories that can really impact people and, and we've done an amazing mm -hmm. job it at that. It's very so. emotional watching. Very emotional. Yeah. It's, it's sad that bullying goes on in every facet of, of life. We all need just to respect each other and, and I, be nicer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Amen to that and I'm so mm -hmm. happy I didn't grow up in the world where we had social media because there's so all much right. cyber bullying as well mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. Don't go anywhere because we have to take a quick break but I want to hear more and you're going to meet nine of your favorite Days of Our Lives cast members at Park Meadows Mall. It's tomorrow, Saturday, August August 11th from 1 to 4 p.m. Now they're going to be there meeting fans and signing autographs and don't forget to tune in to Days of Our Lives weekdays at 2 p.m. right here on Channel 9. Catch all of the updates online at NBC.com slash days. Stay with us and on Facebook too where Freddie and Mary Beth will be answering your questions live. We'll be back with more plus a chance for you to actually meet the stars in person and win fabulous days swag. That means giveaways. Well, we're back with two of the stars of the long-running daytime TV drama, Days of Our Lives, Mary Beth Evans and Freddie Smith, and they're in town this weekend for a very special meet and greet with the fans. But Yay. first, they've made time for us here on Colorado and Company, and we're so appreciative that you guys us. are here. Absolutely. It's been so, fun so far. So let's talk a little bit more, Freddie, about how it's been for you as somewhat a newer cast member. And you're pretty young, too. Is this kind of uh, intimidating at all to be on such a legendary soap? <laughs> um, it was, I mean, everyone treated me so well when I first yeah. got there. And uh, I, I started in 2011. And I think everyone was just so kind that it made it easy. Like, I, I, it wasn't very intimidating. Everyone was very helpful. Because it's all part of the machine that we have over there. We're, we're producing tons of content every day, telling great stories. And everyone helps each other because when we're all working together, we move very quickly. We put out good content. And that's what's most important. Just tell great stories. Can I Absolutely. toss something in on yes. that? Yes. The, 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 the one thing that's so great about Days of Our Lives, I think that the um, daytime and soap operas, it's people who want to have a steady job. It's people, at most everybody on our show are family people or, or, or in a solid relationship, whatever. And I think that that's, that helps there be such nice people. Yes. Because it's not, you know, everybody's just there to get the Supportive work done. of each other. Absolutely. Very supportive. You, you guys want to yeah. win. Yes. Of course. And it's at 2 o'clock right here on NBC Monday through Friday. So, Mary Beth, I want to talk about Kayla's romance with Steve Johnson on screen. Um, it's withstood the test of time. But off screen, you two are really good friends. We're very good friends. Talk in fact, he's in town um, with his grandkids. And I got in last night and we met for dinner. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so sweet. And, we did, and it was sweet because we just talked all about his grandkids. It was adorable. And just how our lives have evolved. I mean, I, you know, I met him. I, was, I just had just gotten married like one, uh, one or two months before in my real life. So, <clears throat> so now as our, our time together personally has evolved, it's so sweet. Now we're talking about our grandkids. Oh, that's lovely. I mean, it's nice to see that you guys are so close off screen, too. So we have a question from one of our viewers on Facebook. It's from Alyssa. She said her teen daughter wants to get involved in acting. What should be her first step? Um, Go ahead. Would you like, you I, I just think, I mean, if you're in town here, get in theater. Mm -hmm. I, I started in theater. I think it's a great way to start. And learn the chops. Learn how to break down a script. Learn how to mm -hmm. go about it like that. Okay. that I, that's my sure. first and, instinct. And, I, and uh, on top of that, I would focus heavily on building a YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, oh, see, and Twitter. he's the modern guy. Yes. I'm the old-fashioned person saying, get into theater. No, but that's all. Like The classes, yeah. the theater, the craft is ultimately what's going to book you the job, but showing you have marketability, marketability on yeah. Instagram, right. build that Instagram now while you're living at home with mom mm -hmm. and dad, mm -hmm. rather than spending huge amounts of rent in LA, right. building your Instagram and YouTube, because people, very casting very producers modern. are looking yeah. at yeah, your Instagram. Um, That's how Justin uh, Bieber got uh, noticed, was on mm -hmm. YouTube. Mm -hmm. Freddie, are you going to tell everybody about our history? In, in, yeah. what, in what sense? What do you mean? <laughs> you, don't, you don't remember, honestly? What? What, Freddie? I should be on a soap. <laughs> <laughs> I totally tricked you. I totally tricked you. you. Don't need that was my audition. <laughs> I was 
Where's the sake of like, okay, really I don't know where this is going. <laughs> so really You're very quick. believable. You should come out to LA. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'd love to. And then take cameras and show everybody here on Colorado on Company. That would be fun. Okay, so a lot has happened on Days of Our Lives over the years. I'm going to put you guys through the test. Okay, so to see if you know your days, all right? So how are Hope Brady and Jennifer Horton related? Well, they're both Hortons. Yes. But is it, uh, is it... Cousins. Okay. I had to give it to you. Name oh, cousins, I, I was thinking of who their parents were. Oh, okay. okay. Cousins, yes, I would definitely say cousins. Who kidnapped Belle? We're John. bad. John, no, Sammy Brady. <laughs> oh, man. Um, which we, family, we don't know anything. Which family member is more evil, the Karyakasis or the Damaris? Demiris. I think the Demiris for yes, sure. Yes, Stefano Demira. Dun, yeah. dun, dun. Yeah, the phoenix always rises. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, talk about what you'll be doing tomorrow. Park Meadows Retail Resort. I'm so excited. We have like 20 seconds left. Mm -hmm. It's the most fun thing. Everybody should come out. Yes. We've done yes. them in other places. It's so fun. And for us who work in a warehouse where you don't see anyone, this is our opportunity to see you guys mm -hmm. and to say, oh, oh, there's that face of that Instagram uh, handle, whatever. <laughs> you know, like it, it really, it's so fun fun. I just try to be hip like him. But no. Okay. It's, it's, and it's for us to out. say we thank you. It. Yes, yeah, we want to show our appreciation it. for you tuning in and watching us on the show. We All right, picture, guys, sign autographs. We're going to do so giveaways, and you can meet nine of your favorite Days of Our Lives cast members at Park Meadows Mall tomorrow, Saturday, August 11th from 1 to 4 p.m. They're going to be there meeting fans, signing autographs, and don't forget to tune in to Days of Our Lives weekdays, 2 o'clock, right here on Channel 9. Catch all of Days, the updates online at NBC.com slash Days. Now, we are going to give away three lucky viewers a chance to meet some of the day's cast before the official event. All you have to do is answer this question. Whose voice says, like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. At the beginning of the show, and what character did he play on the show? So, I need the actor's name and the character he played. Email your answer to mycoco.com and we will randomly select three lucky winners. It's mycoco at 9news.com. Mycoco at 9news.com. Good luck.